It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that chasing the flame makes its greatest mark. With piercing insight and relentless logic, it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world. Australian workplaces are increasingly suffering from depression, anxiety and stress, according to a large study of mental health in corporate Australia. Mental illness appears to have increased by a third in the last decade. Depression is now the primary mental health disorder. Peer checking is a very useful and productive way of developing your reviewing skills. When you read your friend's work, you are assuming the role of the reader and the teacher. If your friend's work is well written, then it will be fluent and easy to read, and you will have no problems understanding the overall content.
Astronomers have recently discovered a large cloud of gas in which many new stars are being formed, not far from our own solar system. While it would seem surprising that this phenomenon hadn't been previously noticed, the researchers explained that recent innovations in measuring the distance of gas clouds more accurately led to this discovery after older observations were reinterpreted. Modern science says, the sun is the past, the earth is the present, the moon is the future. From an incandescent mass we have originated, and into a frozen mass, we shall turn. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. Since the Soviet Union successfully launched the first man-made satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957, about 5,000 more satellites have been put into orbit around the Earth. About 2,000 of these are active, and although the rest are now dysfunctional, they remain in orbit, together with parts from all the rockets that carried them there. These remnants are often referred to as space junk, space trash, or orbital debris.
Currently, integration is increasingly needed in the business environment. This need emerges from the efficiency and synergy requirements necessary in a complex and turbulent environment. In other words, integration is needed to facilitate coordination, which is again related to the building of competitive advantage. Once most animals reach adulthood, they stop growing. In contrast, even plants that are thousands of years old continue to grow new needles, add new wood, and produce cones and new flowers, almost as if parts of their bodies remained forever young. The secrets of plant growth are regions of tissue that can produce cells that later develop into specialized tissues. A South Korean court ordered the arrest of Park geun the former president, on charges of bribery and abuse of power. Ms. Park, who was removed from office three weeks ago, will be jailed while prosecutors seek an indictment for her alleged role in a corruption scandal. The court said that if Ms. Park was not taken into custody she might destroy evidence.
In the Middle Ages, the design and use of flags were considered a means of identifying social status. Flags were, therefore, the symbols not of nations, but of the nobility. The design of each flag resembled the devices on the noble's coat of arms, and the size of the flags was an indication of how high the owner stood in the nobility. Charlie Parker noticed that the solos were only improvised through the melodies, but that he could also improvise them through the chords, thus creating new variations over the structure of the songs, and also playing more notes and faster. As the Delta variant of coronavirus sweeps the U.S. businesses, universities in cities such as New York and San Francisco have introduced vaccine mandates to boost uptake of jabs, but vaccine hesitancy remains high and a cottage industry for bogus inoculation cards has emerged to help people get around the rules.
Six decades after the British novelist and chemist C. E. P. Snow famously decried the gulf of mutual incomprehension between the sciences and the humanities, the chasm often seems larger than ever. As we progress into the 21st century, communications are becoming faster and faster. Think of the millions of different media images you are bombarded with every day. It is as important now to be able to read and make sense of those images, as it has been to be able to read ordinary text. Ford made a U-turn, scrapping plans for a 1.6 billion factory in Mexico to build compact cars and diverting some of the investment to a plant near Detroit to produce electric vehicles. Ford stressed that this was a commercial decision. Donald Trump had criticized the proposed Mexican factory while campaigning on the theme of saving American jobs. Not all solar energy capture devices make electricity directly. For example, steam generated from solar energy can turn turbines, which then produce electricity. And, in what could be especially useful in remote regions, 
solar steam can desalinate water and be used in sanitation and equipment sterilization. The climate for doing business improved in Egypt more than in any other country last year, according to a global study that revealed a wave of company-oriented reforms across the Middle East. The World Bank rankings, which look at business regulations, also showed that the pace of business reforms in Eastern Europe was overtaking East Asia. Researchers have developed electronic blood vessels that can be actively tuned to address subtle changes in the body after implantation. The blood vessels made of a metal polymer conductor membrane that's flexible and biodegradable mimic natural blood vessels, were conductive in vitro experiments and were able to effectively replace key arteries in rabbits.
Writers may make the mistake of making all their sentences too compact. Some have made this accusation against the prose of Gibbon. An occasional loose sentence prevents the style from becoming too formal and allows the reader to relax slightly. Loose sentences are common in easy, unforced writing, but it is a fault when there are too many of them. Dolphins, whales and porpoises are all social animals, but some species are more sociable than others. This depends on the environment because a species adopts the lifestyle most suitable for this. Among dolphins, forming groups makes it easier for them to find food, reproduce and gain knowledge. They are safer too because dolphins can communicate danger when there are threats around. Hinderman says he thinks the compound could be a win-win for the planet and the animals. You know, methane is kind of a waste product. And this energy, instead of losing it for the animal, it can be reused for the animal in terms of performance, and at the same time we are doing something for greenhouse gas emission and climate change. The products not on the market yet toxicology tests are ongoing.
A series of camel sculptures carved into rock faces in Saudi Arabia is likely to be the oldest large-scale animal reliefs in the world, a study says. When the carvings were first discovered in 2010, researchers estimated they were created about 2.000 years ago. This was based on their similarity to reliefs at Jordan's famous ancient city of Petra. Over the centuries, the holiday evolved, and by the 18th century, gift-giving and exchanging handmade cards on Valentine's Day had become common in England. Handmade Valentine's cards made of lace, ribbons, and featuring cupids and hearts eventually spread to the American colonies. The tradition of Valentine's cards did not become widespread in the United States, however, until the 1850s. Aquaculture, also known as aqua farming, is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and aquatic plants. Aquaculture involves cultivating freshwater and saltwater populations under controlled conditions.
English colonies emerged along the eastern seaboard for a variety of reasons. People, primarily men, originally migrated to Virginia to find gold and silver to make a quick profit. After it became evident that there were no precious metals in the area, men came to Virginia to start cultivating cash crops like tobacco. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats traveled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hand. With a population of only just over 30 million living in the world's